It's official. The Detroit Pistons have found a new head coach. According to Adrian Wojnarowski, the Pistons have hired J.B. Bickerstaff to a five-year deal to be the next head coach. So who is J.B. Bickerstaff, right? J.B. Bickerstaff most recently hired as the head coach of the Cleveland Cavaliers back in 2020. And he led them to an overall record of 170 and 159 over five seasons. He served as an assistant head coach for the Memphis Grizzlies. He coached the Rockets for a season. He was an assistant a couple years before that. And he also was an assistant coach for both the Minnesota Timberwolves and Charlotte Hornets, dating all the way back to 2005. So he has about 20 years of coaching experience. And this past season, he led the Cavaliers to a 48 and 34 record, which is pretty impressive considering the number of injuries the Cavs had last season. Many might remember JB as being the coach that employed the hack and drumming strategy back against the Pistons when he sent Andre Drummond to the line for, I believe it was 38 free throws, maybe 36, 36 free throws, but the Pistons still won the game. And a side note too, his father, Bernie Bickerstaff, was a respected head coach for many years in the 90s and 2000s. So now, how do I feel about this hire? I have mixed feelings. I have mixed feelings. He was my third selection for the Pistons. Right? I personally would have preferred Micah Nori, assistant coach of the T-Wolves, or Sean Sweeney, assistant coach of the Mavericks. And I know a lot of Pistons fans aren't jumping for joy over this hire, but we got to keep something in mind. Everybody is not falling over themselves desperately trying to coach the Pistons as currently constructed right now. We had the worst record again last season, right? We set the record for the all-time NBA losing streak at 27 games. We went into the NBA draft without a head coach and a GM, and we just hired a president. That's not the most ideal or enticing situation that most potential coaching candidates are going to just jump at. And personally, I honestly would have liked to have a coach who wasn't just fired. That's been the case with our last two coaches. Right, Monty Williams was fired from Phoenix before being hired by the Pistons. And when Casey was also fired by the Toronto Raptors before being hired by the Pistons. Now, I'm not saying it's necessarily a bad thing to hire a recently fired coach, but I do think that sometimes coaching styles, though effective at times, can have an expiration date to where eventually you lose the ear of the locker room. And it seems like that was the case with Bickerstaff when it came to at least Donovan Mitchell. Now, do I think he can coach and improve his young team? Yeah, sure. He's proven to be able to help young teams grow. He led the Cavs to the playoffs in back-to-back -back years. Two years ago, they got bounced in the first round by the Knicks. But last year, they actually defeated the Magic before losing to the Celtics, who obviously won the title. So, not a bad team to lose to. Now, do I think he is the guy to turn the Pistons into a serious contender? I don't know. I don't know. Because we've yet to see it. I believe that coach is still in our future, personally, but I do think that JB can help build a foundation and identity for these young guys. If we look back in five years, seven years, and JB was what Mark Jackson was for Golden State, what Rick Carlisle was for the Pistons, I'm good with that. Absolutely. And maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he just wasn't given the resources or enough time and will prove himself in that way here. Maybe he can help Cade and Jaden turn into an all-star backcourt the way he did for Donovan Mitchell and Darius Garland. Right? People were saying they were too small of a backcourt. They couldn't guard anybody. Look what he did for them. Maybe he can help Jalen Duran become a defensive presence, right? Or close to it, of a Jared Allen and turn him into a star big man in this league. Now, if he can do all that, if he does all that, then we're talking about the Pistons becoming that contender that I spoke about earlier. We got to wait and see, though. But that's the news. King and I are going to be providing more detail in our next upload on Tuesday. But it is official. The Detroit Pistons have found their guy. JB Bickerstaff. So how y'all feeling about this move? You like it? Love it? Hate it? Let me know. And as always, Detroit versus everybody. Peace. Like him, hate him